Hello Flo fam, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos of me. <laughs> um, if this video is helpful, informative, whatever, make sure to give it a thumbs up, that helps out a ton. And leave a comment down below of your experience. So this is kind of like a part two in a way. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my experience with the birth control pill. A couple months ago, I did a video about my experience with the next one on or the arm implant and how I got off of it, why I got off of it, and just my experience with that. So if you guys wanna know about that, you can go watch that video. Basically, it was giving me really bad symptoms, mood swings, all this stuff that I just did not want in my life. So I got it taken out and I decided to start the pill. Now, before I really dive into everything, I just wanna give a quick disclaimer that I am obviously not a doctor. Um, if you are wanting to start birth control, talk to your own doctor. And birth control is gonna be different for every single person. The way it affects you is different from the way it's gonna affect your friend, your sister, da 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 Anyway, basically just, I'm not a professional. I'm giving my personal experience and nothing else. This is not medical advice so let's get into it why did I start the pill my experience with the pill side effects if I'm gonna stay on the pill etc here we go I first decided when I was gonna start birth control to get the implant because it's very low maintenance they put this thing in your arm you're good to go for three years well that did not work out so I decided the most common thing that everyone does is get on the pill so I was like you know what I'm gonna try that so I actually signed up through the pill club so they literally just ship it to my house it's not sponsored this is just what I do and so it's really convenient I don't have to like go to a pharmacy and pick it up so they gave me my prescription and this is my birth control. I just started a new pack, love that. <laughs> and there are three weeks of the pill and then there's one week of the placebo pill which is when you're supposed to have your period. I do it to where I have my period every month. You can choose to have it like every three months I think, but I just wanna know that I'm not pregnant to be honest. The pill is obviously not as convenient as the implant. I have to take the pill every single day and if you take it at the same time, it's most effective so I try to take it at 7 p.m. every day, which means I have to bring my backpack with me everywhere I go, which kind of sucks sometimes. And it's like, I know I'm going to be gone around 7. I better have my birth control with me. So I keep it in here and I haven't had very many issues. I've only forgotten it like one time and had to go back home and get it and take it. And I've been very good about taking it. I've never missed a day. I've taken it every single day. Um, oh, I've been on it for three months now. So I just started my, I'm going on my fourth month. So that's why I feel like, okay, I can kind of, you know, see, cause they say you need to be on it for like three months to like adjust to it um, and then go from there. So this is my like three month update. And then I could do like maybe a six month update, one year update if I'm still on it and all that. So yeah, I've taken it at the same time every day, which honestly sucks. I hate it so much, but it's not as bad as I thought. I really thought I was gonna be like forgetting and missing, but the thing is, when it's important to you not to get pregnant, you're not gonna forget to take your pill because you don't wanna get pregnant, end of story. <laughs> so yeah, I have not forgotten it once, which I'm glad. Let's, let's hop more into like my experience with the side effects, cause whew, it's rough. So I started it at the end of July and I took basically a month off of birth control from in between the implant and the pill just to kind of give my body a little bit of a break. And then I started the pill. And basically what taking birth control is, it is like pumping hormones into your body. You know, it probably is just not good for you. That has been my conclusion with birth control. It is just not good for you. But I don't want to be pregnant, so you gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> so. The first month I was on the pill, I was the most depressed I have ever been in my entire life. And when I tell you the most depressed, I did not get out of bed for like a week. And I, I've kind of always struggled with depression, anxiety. This made it so much worse, so much worse. And I honestly think it was the pill because like nothing in my life was like going wrong. Like there really was no other reason. It was summer, like I don't know why I was so depressed, but I was, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Like didn't want to get out of bed, didn't want to do anything. Yeah, um, it was bad. So I was like, you know what? This is probably because of the pill. And so I thought about getting off the pill. I was gonna go see my doctor. But then we decided to move. So that just ruined all of those plans. But, um, so I put more effort into my mental health and I started like 
you know, forcing myself to get out of bed and to eat and to stay busy like every single day. And that has actually changed my life. I don't find myself getting into those like really depressed moods where I can't get out of bed as often because I am just like, okay, we gotta get up, we gotta do it, we gotta go, 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 go. And it is really, really hard to do that. So I'm pretty proud of myself. But I swear that this is all just because of the pill. So have I had great side effects? No, it's been terrible. But as far as like bleeding and all that, cause that was one of my big issues with the implant was I, my mood was affected. I was having mood swings and I was bleeding like two or three times a month. And so yeah, I haven't had any issues with like bleeding with the pill, which is very nice. Um, I haven't had really like mood swings. It literally just depression. And I say just depression, I feel like that's the worst side effect you could have. But um, they do say it takes like three months to adjust to it. And now that I've been on it for three months, I don't feel that as much. And maybe it's just because I started putting more effort into it or whatever. But I, I feel like I'm kind of like getting over it, like I'm getting through it. And it actually is much, much better now. So I think I just adjusted to the pill and I feel pretty solid now. I feel like I don't really see any side effects as of right now. Obviously, it's only month three, so who knows what could happen next month the next month the next month but um as for now i am not doing terrible i think it's actually been pretty good um i do like how the pill is just simple you just take it once a day and you're good to go so that is nice but you know like i said it is kind of like a lot like you have to take it every single day and those months when i was adjusting to this birth control was oh it was rough but now that i'm here and i'm adjusted and i'm in my routine of taking it every day it's not as hard, I don't forget, my alarm goes off and I take it and it's no big deal. So as of right now, I think I am going to stay on the pill. I have been slightly debating getting the non-hormonal IUD, the copper IUD, I think it's called the Paragard because I just feel like it's so bad for my body to be changing the hormones so much and the Paragard uses no hormones, but I'm very scared of getting it in. So um, until I overcome that fear, I'm gonna stay on the pill. Um, I think that IUD would be great because I think it's five years or 10 years or something like that. And I don't wanna have kids for like five years. So that would be awesome to just pop it in, not worry about it, but I'm just so scared of getting it in. I'm just being like open and honest with you guys because this is a personal, very personal thing right here. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna stay on the pill. I think I kind of got through that adjustment period. I'm feeling a lot better, way more like myself. I genuinely was like not myself when I started the pill. Not at all. But now I finally feel like I'm kind of back to my regular routine. I've adjusted to it and I feel much better. So that's kind of my experience so far. Kind of wrecked me for a little bit, but I'm getting through it. It just sucks. Like why? Why do I have to, why do I have to be on birth control? To not, and I know, I know I don't have to, like there are like the um, natural family planning method, but I do not trust myself. I don't trust that personally. Like if you do that, that's awesome. That's actually great because you don't have any hormones being pumped into your body. I don't trust it. I'm not gonna do it. That's all I have to say about it. But it's totally personal. Um, whether you choose to take birth control or not to take birth control is up to you. This is just what I've been doing. It was definitely a rough adjustment period, but I'm feeling pretty solid now. So there you go. There's my little three month update of being on the pill. Hopefully I can stay in this like mode where I'm in, where I feel like it's not really affecting me anymore. And if I could just keep that going, then there wouldn't really be a reason for me to get off the pill. But if things go south again, I am definitely looking towards an IUD. Anyway, that's the video. So once again, I am not a doctor. Do not listen to me for medical advice. This is my own personal experience with the pill, how it's been affecting me so far. And if you want to share your personal experience, don't feel like you have to. The comments are open. It's girl talk time and we can all just kind of open up and talk about our experience. If we're on birth control, if we're doing natural stuff, we have an IUD, whatever is going on, we can talk about it here open and honest. It's a safe space. I mean, there's not really much to say here. That's it. That's how it is for me. So in a story, I don't want kids for a very long time. So I, I need to be on birth control. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little update and I will see you guys in the next one. I have a huge series coming out soon and it's gonna be crazy. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.